Rob here. I've got a. I just realized something about. You know how God is going to judge the whole earth? It's going to be the worst time ever in history coming up here. Jesus said before he returns. And I think when he returns. Anyway, to stop the worst time ever. Um, I think it makes sense. You know how Daniel said in the last times, knowledge will be increased. And the way the world is now, there, knowledge is more accessible than it ever was. And we have a lot of people ignoring God. The Bible says that the two witnesses will be dead in the street for three days, three and a half days, whatever. Um, what I parallel that to is there's two witnesses in the earth right now of God, and that is the Holy Spirit and the Holy Scripture. The Holy Scripture is a tangible written word of God, okay? The Holy Spirit bears witness to the truth. That it's true okay so anyway um, those two witnesses are in essence dead in the street the word street means open air open public arena in public okay in public most people consider the Bible and the Holy Spirit as dead not alive of course it is but they don't consider it to be so and they, they, they kill it in the sense that they hate it. Okay? Jesus said, if you hate your brother, it's murder in your heart. But anyway, that's what we're dealing with. Now, you've got to figure it. God said, to whom much is given, much is required. So I believe that, you know, I, I have this thing in me going like, well, I'll, you know, the, the people alive today are going to get the harshest time in history we are. So it's like, why... Um, why would the people today deserve this more than anyone else? And I'm starting to come to the conclusion that it's because knowledge has been increased. It's a lot easier to access the Holy Scripture. In other words, more people have more access to the Holy Scripture than ever in history. Also, it's more easy ever than ever in history to access the original text. Because you can go on the internet or buy a Bible at the store for real cheap. You know what I mean? You couldn't do that before. So this whole earth, you know, it's, it's so much easier to obtain than ever, okay? And I believe God is looking at the earth saying, okay, I make my word, my scripture, right? More accessible and more accessible with this increase of knowledge and access to knowledge. But yet you don't seek me, you seek sin in that knowledge. You seek the knowledge of sin rather than the knowledge of God. So in that case, I'm going to take away your blessings on this earth because you, you on the whole earth have the access to the scripture like you never had before, but you turn your back on it. So then that, in that case, I'm going to judge you harder than anyone else. Kind of like when Jesus said, that it would be better for Sodom and Sodom in the day of judgment than for Chorazin when he was there in that town, you know, God live in the flesh in their face, and they rejected him. And he said if he was in Sodom, they would have repented. They would have said they would have responded more than Chorazin would have when Jesus was actually there in their face. Just like right now, the access to the Holy Scripture is so easy for more people than ever in history right now and maybe in the soon future as the internet's easier to access as there's more different translations of more Bibles in different languages so I think that's a major player in how God will justify judging the whole earth so I just want you to think about that and be thankful that we have the Holy Scripture and we need to spend our time more in the Scripture. I mean, we can, you know. Maybe we don't, I don't know if you need to or not, but you need to ask, seek God and ask Him if you're spending enough time seeking His written Scripture. Because, like, right now we've got time to do it. When the, um, when the fan gets hit, okay, then won't have time to sit down and read the Bible every night for two hours. We might have a 
half an hour a month to read because we're too busy working the works of God in the earth. And if we had more of His Holy Scripture in us, we might be able to work the works of God better until He comes back. And why not invest that? Take the talent and multiply it. You know what I mean? You bury that word, the Scripture in your mind, and then later it'll yield forth the fruit tenfold to a hundredfold rather than just doubling it or keeping it the same. You know what I mean? So I hope this encourages you as it encourages me and uh, we need to put this, um, this truth into action. I think we need to really point out the scripture more to people and the Holy Spirit um, because this is a big deal. I mean, to realize that God is going to judge this earth because it's turned its back on His gifts to us of his knowledge you know instead of seeking knowledge in Hollywood fairy tale um, pervert crap you know we should be seeking the truth of God truth is stranger than fiction anyway so if you like fiction truth can be stranger than fiction so we can enjoy truth also even in the sense that it's surprising when you learn more about it um, we should be seeking the love of Christ, though. The love of Christ should be our motivation, the love of the truth. Jesus said, um, well, Apostle Paul said, sorry, that they perished because they didn't receive the love, the love of the truth, that they would be saved. So we need to love the truth. I've seen a video, too, recently about, I think it was Naphtali. He mentioned that the love of many will grow cold. Um... But I think a couple of people have been doing a video on that the love will grow cold in the last days and lukewarm, okay? So, the love of the truth, if you don't love the truth, you love fables and fairy tales, you're distracted from the truth and you know not the truth and you know not Christ and you know not Jesus. Depart from me, he says, you never knew me. And that means more likely, more, more so it means you departed from me because you never knew me. And it's also when you see him, He'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Okay? That's interesting. Um, there's a lot of depth in that. Maybe I should seek, seek God about doing a video on that. But um, anyway, I hope this blesses you to strive more, to get more close to a Father in Jesus' name. And blessings are all in Christ Jesus. Take care.